welcome everybody to, to uh, this very uh, momentous day. I'm very pleased that uh, you all could come here. We have many guests, uh, honored guests and friends that are, are here. Uh, we're going to have a few uh, speeches, an uh, overview of uh, how this project came to be. A lot of people who came uh, as our partners are here today from the state of Oregon, from the federal agencies, uh, many people within the tribal community who made this happen. And so uh, I'm very honored that uh, to begin with, uh, we have uh, the chairman of the Confederate Tribes of Warm Springs, uh, Mr. Austin Green. Uh, he's, his leadership on this project is very important as well as the tribal council. So if you give a good uh, round of applause for Mr. Chairman Green. Thank you so much. First and foremost, I'd like to welcome uh, everybody here today to come down and uh, witness this historic event on behalf of the Confederate Tribes of Warm Springs. Um, you know, it doesn't, as Don had mentioned in his opening speech, you know, we have many delegates from various agencies, including the governor's office, that are here today to witness this historic event. And Don mentioned, you know, the tribal council that put this forth. But so at this time, I'd like to recognize those council members in attendance here that helped proceed this uh, forward. So if you guys could quickly take your eyes. We've got Reuben Henry, Jesus Jackson, Orby Danzuko. And way out in the back, I'd like to recognize Glendon for his work. Andrew Smith is our secretary treasurer who uh, helped push this along as well. That this project maintains its transparency, that it has the credibility that's necessary to allow it to succeed, and that it fulfills the promise of jobs and revenue so that there can continue to be the growth and success and the prosperity that this community not only deserves, but needs to have in order to sustain itself over the next uh, seven generations and well beyond that into the future. Uh, not only did our tribal membership share share their voice with, with each other, but we shared the voice with the state of Oregon and with the United States. Uh, at the time of the treaties, there was a certain amount of sovereignty that we never signed away. And I do believe that this voice and, and, and mobilizing the people to get out and, and let us know what you think uh, is a piece that we never gave up. Uh, it did all start with a cold call. I, uh, I read an article on Indians.com and it was Indians with a Z. And, and it, Don was quoted in that article saying that the, the Warm Springs tribe and Warm Springs Ventures had an interest in this industry. So I just reached out and uh, we, we had an opportunity to connect. And from that first moment, I spoke with Don, and, and I learned a little bit about, about the tribe, uh, about ventures, about the board, and, and how they wanted to progress this project forward, speaking with the governor's office, talking to all of the other governmental agencies that needed to be on the same page. I hired uh, 12 community members to come in. We did some training. And then they became the face of the campaign prior to the referendum vote. They went out every day, they knocked on doors, and for anybody who doesn't live in the agency area, when you knock on doors in Sid Walter, you drive two miles, it seems like, from house to house. You know, you have to deal with res dogs. Um, sometimes there's gates that you have to scale. You know, there's all these challenges of doing campaigns in Indian country, and they made it happen. They knocked on the doors. I was curious to know, just from a campaign standpoint, how long it would take to, to knock on 900, roughly 900 doors, mainly because I'm interested in how our community builds its collective political power. You know, we, we have people that run for office in various things, and we haven't really put people on the ground. We haven't looked at the numbers and the time and the cost. So I really wanted to know that as well for future opportunities. Um, this is an amazing day. Uh, and it is because of this incredible amount of work and intelligence and expertise and care and struggle uh, that have uh, been invested into this project and this program by so many people. Um, and it turns out that to turn this from a great project into a significant engine of economic development requires even more than that. In addition to all of that work and those smarts and that investment, it also requires 
as so many things in life do, bureaucracy. And that's where we come in. <laughs> um, in, in all seriousness, um, as many of you maybe know, three months ago, uh, there was no mechanism by which to integrate uh, this project with Oregon's marijuana market. Uh, it didn't exist. There was no way to do it in a way that was respectful uh, and appropriate to the sovereign interests of this tribe. And I asked, have you met with the state? Have you met with the governor's office? Have you met with the U.S. Attorney's office? Well, yeah, we, we're going to. Yes, we're going to. We just wanted to be sure that we were all in compliance. We were legal. Everything we did, we would be legal. I didn't want to go to jail. <laughs> but I'd have a lot of company. <laughs> <laughs> but they assured me in two meetings that we had that yes, we're going to be totally in compliance and there's not going to be a problem. And from what we have been able to gather um, in the meeting and the materials that we have seen the tribe has produced, yes. We want to be able to be in a position to support the tribe. We truly do. We do hope that this is a financial kickstart that will get this tribe moving in economic and business development so there will be more jobs created. As you know, the mill here has had some difficulty and uh, we've got some people here, members losing jobs. We need more jobs. But again, it's a pleasure being here and I want to thank you so much again for this this opportunity so I we just hope that this is it so we'll all be all venture together and with a good opportunity so and we're in compliance thank you <laughs>